World of YouTube True Crime Tale of a Sight. I bring up this number again, my fellow YouTubers. Today at 1.35 p.m. Of course, it's the old number. I screenshot the new number. I mean, the new call. But once again, today, I have received a call from this number. <clears throat> so... I am going to attempt to call it back. See what they say. Hopefully my do recorder records. But then again, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> but I am definitely going to give this number a call back to see what they say. And if it's something I think is uh, important, well, I'm definitely going to be um, calling the authorities in Indiana. Now, <laughs> due to the fact that I have gotten the um, comments stating I'm crazy, uh, you know, And that if they, if someone thinks that our killer's calling me or any relations to the killer, or hell, even the killer themselves, because he ain't caught yet. Yeah, that's right. I'll tell you something. <laughs> I did look up this name, but it's very, very strange name. And, um, I'm only going to say the first name. Now, I have tried looking this up. And, uh, what has come up with the Delphi Murders title? Which, every time I type into this, I type in the Delphi Murders. And whatever new information that I get or name... I put in Delphi Murders slash in that name or whatever it is. So I put in this name. Um, Kendall. And the only thing that came up related to the Delphi Murders in that name is a Kendall Ray. R-A-E, I believe. And of course... I highly doubt that's, she's a podcaster, I guess, but still, when I look up in the yellow pages, or whatever the hell it is, phone book records, a Kendall, last name I ain't gonna reveal yet, and, but that is what is supposedly matched with this number. I didn't do that the last time because, you know, like I, I, I wasn't really, you know, gonna press the issue, as they say, on Vice City. <laughs> I love that little commercial. Press the issue. But, um, literally, if anybody has any information on a Kendall, There are some names that came up also. Whole list of them that I screenshot and um, I'm going to look through. Supposedly affiliated with this number and like I say, I'm not giving no last name yet. Because I want to see if that first name rings a bell. <clears throat> but once again, two times this phone has called me now. And, uh, like I said, that last call was from a guy who sounded like a real mean SOB. Who you calling? What do you want? Ah. I don't know. I'm sitting there telling him I didn't call you, buddy. 
I got your phone number on my caller ID. Who are you calling? I will attempt to do this number again just to say, hey, you know. I got your number on caller ID. I was just wondering who this is. Do a little play stupid gig like I always do. Gets me out of trouble when I do that. <laughs> oh, man. Mind you, one time I was in Boston, Mass, and I actually got pissed off at a uh, <clears throat> traffic light. Didn't know they were doing construction, though. And literally, I um, <laughs> ran the light, then seen the construction area. I was like, oh, crap. Cop was directing traffic. Tells me to pull over. What the F is wrong with you? Don't you see the signs? I, said, I, 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 I didn't see those signs. And I was like, I, 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 I must. I, I, I'm confused. <laughs> and I'm sitting there stuttering away. And I said, I'm confused. He was like, that damn father. Don't do that again, you stupid son of a... I was like, wow, okay. Oh, man, I was looking at a big fine that day, but, you know, play off a little bit of stupid, get a little re reward. Reward. <laughs> Shoot. So I'm going to see what this number is again. Call it. Ask the same question. Got your own caller ID, just checking who this is. Because I'll tell you something. If this was a fake number, which I've been called by multiple times, I still get them here and there. And I'm sorry. But every time I get something that's the same, and it's the wrong, no, it's one of them automated, or, hey, I'm Steve, I'm uh, carinsurance.com. As they're sitting there, hello, yeah, how you, how you doing, I'm Steve. They've always called from a different number. Don't get me wrong, people. So, with that being said, <laughs> yeah, I wonder what really is going on behind this number could someone be getting really sketchy on my videos or is it just some I can't even say it's someone getting the wrong number two times come on and the, the, I tell you right now <clears throat> talking about the automated stuff this person wasn't automated they were not automated. It was a real person. Because automated people don't go, oh, what do you want? What are you calling me for? Or whatever the hell he said. We were very rude, very ignorant. And I'll tell you. Here it is the 28th or the 29th. And usually you get them robo calls or fake calls or whatever calls. Sometimes they're bill collectors. Them are the real people, but this ain't no bill collector. Asking me what I want. Why you call me? What do you want? Right? What's really going on here, people? Did I spark some? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even say it. I don't want to say it. Because if this is a real number and they're calling me again. And whoever's behind that line that's already got an attitude, just imagine what that attitude wants to do to me. <laughs> I like to push buttons. Especially the people that like to kill innocent people. Especially kids. I don't like that. Don't take kindly to that. Innocent kids. Innocent people that just don't know nothing about street smarts and take their time in the world to go about, you know, 
sit there and just want to live their lives and like the girls at the from Delphi with their happy smiled pictures they look like very happy children just living their lives wanting to be you know a kid and then one day it's all erupted and taken away and slashed before their eyes to never be heard of us you know live that life a child is to live it's a sad sad situation and if I am pushing buttons behind the phone number here I can come and give you a visit if you want keep calling keep on calling let me know if you're real let me know if this is someone behind the mask hiding from all this and I've been pushing your buttons been looking up on me have you <laughs> that's if this is you know the truth if this is real if it ain't whatever I made a mistake call me stupid but I don't see this same number calling me twice within the same month um, <laughs> and just be a wrong number or just say, hey, my buddy has, geez, the same number as you. That's what I'm waiting for. Someone to say my number. Oh, I got this number. But the area code could be wrong. Who knows? It just seems fishy. It just seems fishy, folks. Indiana. This is no goddamn robocall. I don't care what anybody says. And I don't know if they have a, maybe a relative out here, maybe, maybe, maybe that's what it is, and they're calling that number, and it could be one number off from mine. <clears throat> you can't help the curiosity now. And of course they say curiosity killed the cat, but I don't care, because I'm no cat. I'm a friggin' panther. Dark, black, hiding, stalking, just like them sickos do. And hell, ready to pounce. If you want to come on down and take a wild ride. <laughs> that's if, that's if someone be calling me. So that wouldn't be the first time folks that someone had said I gotta stop doing stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, anyways, I thought I'd share this again. Call me crazy, I don't care. Because I know when something ain't right. I know when there's something going on. And I know this ain't no friggin' robo-fake call. Because them numbers come up all the time on my phone. And actually, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a video on the numbers that have called me. And I still haven't erased them all. Of course, i got to block out private numbers. <clears throat> so, give me a couple days to do that. And I'll be showing you the robocalls that I get. And yes, I have gotten some... Hell, I think I've gotten maybe some from Pennsylvania. But I know that person's voice on the other side of the line on this phone number. And when I call them back, I'm going to be a little bit more curious and ask a little more questions. What's going on out there, Mr. Psychoville, Indiana? <laughs> Not all people are psycho, but, you know, I have been seeing in the news, though, a lot of stuff happening out there in Indiana. Pretty bad. But I wonder why it leads to cases like this. 
up in the air not being solved because someone's screwing up and doing something wrong. Well, let's find out, folks. What do you think? I'm going to be giving this number a call. See what we get from this conversation. Till the next video, be safe. Take care. Always beware. Of course I do. I got to be pushing someone's buttons. <laughs> you must not like my ugly face. <laughs> well, look, I'm going to put it in there some more, buddy. Look at here, buddy. If that is the case. <laughs> yeah. Be safe, everybody. Whoops. It look a little orange ball in my head. Ah! Ow.